We are getting closer and closer as Global Launch is approaching. Hello everybody, Sebastian Keynes here with another Watcher of Realms video. So there was some confirmation today under Discord that not only will it be released for Android and iOS devices, but they will have a link on their website for a PC client and I'll be able to at least download it so we'll be able to play on our PCs and not have to use emulators. So that's one positive. In, that, in this video, I just want to cover kind of the beginning, what to look for when you start out the game. And there are going to be three facets, uh, facets that I want to cover. When you uh, start the game, you're going to have to go through that campaign and start progressing through some of those levels. You are going to want to complete chapter one as quickly as possible and then get into chapter two and then three to start opening things up that will help you accrue resources that includes of course the summoning portal where you're going to get heroes you're going to get fodder uh, to level to level uh, to rank up your champions you're also going to be unlocking the storyline is a set of kind of missions that you follow along and you get resources out of that and you'll also be unlocking the dwarves association where it's going to be uh, a place where you're going to be able to buy some stuff that you are going to um, you're going to need to to level up your champions to make them stronger and eventually you're going to um, unlock the the guild uh, option and you're going to be able to join the guild you tackle the dragon you start collecting rewards there as well let's go through the summon and portal really quick uh what uh there are there are going to be two types of crystals that you're going to be able to acquire by playing the game or by purchasing them. One of them is going to be the rare summoning crystals, where you'll be able to summon two star, three star, four star, five star heroes. And uh, there is a pity for this. Uh, after 200 uh, summons, if you don't have not summoned a legendary, you will get an increase of 5% uh, to get the legendary eventually until you hit 100%. There are the two two subtypes of um, legendaries. One of them is the Lord Heroes, and as you can see, these Lord legendaries have a much lower percentage chance of them being acquired, and it's mostly because they are a little bit more powerful, and they actually provide extra stats to their corresponding faction teammates. So that's why they are a little bit more desirable. Rest assured, though, that you'll have a 0.46% chance to acquire this other set of legendaries. And there are some very good legendaries here. You will not be disappointed in pulling maybe a couple, but you'll be not disappointed in pulling any of these. You'll have uh, you'll find a use for each one of them. The epics, you'll only have an 8% chance to summon one. Of course, the lords are going to be of lower rarity. Uh, you only have a 0.12% chance. When you unlock the summoning portal after completing chapter 1-9, you will probably notice there is a 2x boost. But since they are doing the global launch close to the weekend, here in the calendar, we have on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that the rates are actually going to be increased 2x for the legendaries anyway. So it's a perfect time uh to to summon once you start unlocking uh the, the chapters you start accruing gems you start accruing summoning crystals so you can start get uh getting ahead and getting started when it comes to divine summoning crystals you will have an opportunity to summon epics and legendaries from this specialized crystals and uh you will have a six percent chance of getting a legendary with the rest being an epic and of course the lords are going to have a lower percentage of dropping a 2x this will increase to 12 percent of getting a legendary and there is a kind of a, pit, a pity system with this is if after 12 you do not get a legendary your rate increases by two for every summon after in the summoning portal also don't forget about the fusion uh, uh heroes that you'll have accessibility to it wouldn't be a bad idea if you go after Levian and giving up uh, Rex. Rex is with the first defender that you'll get in the game. Uh, that's what I did. If you can come and get Teowin, uh, he's a good marksman. And Lilac is an okay healer. Uh, but if you get Vortex, you, you won't need to come and get Lilac. Komodo is a fighter that was just recently added in 
preparation for global and i don't i haven't had a chance to test this character yet because i have not uh, summoned him uh, but he is part of a fusion plan that you can get uh, from four different rares you can then fuse him and if you are able to come and get abomination as, uh, as soon as possible if you have the resources to do it don't hinder your game progression too much but once you have the epics necessary i would suggest come and get this guy uh, if you don't get the legendary hero uh, healer right away, I might reconsider waiting uh, to get a second part copy of Vortex. Um, very good healer for being in the epic class. You are going to want to use them early on. So wait for a second copy to try to come in and get Abomination. After you completed a summoning session, quickly come here to the Dismissal tab and select the three star and whatever extra copies of rares that you have that you no longer need you can uh, dismiss them and in return you get gems back and in the hopes that you get enough gems to go back into the summoning portal and do some more summons the second thing of course is then the here the dwarf um the dwarven association in the black market uh, you can buy the green heroes i usually do at a discounted price you can get the gray ones, but eventually, if you just over time get the green ones, you're gonna fill out your uh, champion slots. And then once an event or a tournament where you can level up heroes, you go after it. And then uh, you can start leveling and ranking up your champions. Uh, as you saw me do, I bought a summoning crystal for 70 gems. I would do that because it actually costs 88 gems to summon once. So they are given at a discount at the door of a dwarven association in addition uh we, you will once you unlock the guild shop and you want to join a guild is because you're going to start getting the skill coins after you start completing quests within the guild and you're going to have a chance to buy psychic powers uh, this is essentially if you played right child of legends these are chickens you're going to use this to rank up your champions from four to five and you're also going to have an opportunity to get um summoning crystals and that's what i would shoot for there if you then start doing arena uh, i would come and get the summoning crystals and a huge stem in the pot when you are able to do so and early on it might be handy to buy some epic skill dust and some skill crystals to try to get those epics uh ranked up you're not going to be able to acquire too many of the legendary resources since most likely this will be unlocked for you because you need to get really high in arena to unlock this um this the slots in here there are special summoning crystals this ancient summoning crystals are actually uh, cr um, crystals that you use to summon a specific legendary student during a particular event you will see the portal you'll hear you'll have an additional banner and those this is the only that's the only time you'll be able to use this crystals you'll you'll be able to buy them you'll be able to get them in game they're really hard to get but that will be the opportunity for you to get specific champions that are in that banner not all legendaries are included in the regular summon in the innovation of spirits or the divine summoning so that is preserved for those special events and then the last thing is the storyline come into the storyline follow the story as you go along do the quest of, with you progressing in the campaign keep an eye on the sub stories you'll be able to um, kind of match what you're doing with the with the story you can get extra resources here and then this will refresh every time that you clear a path i would suggest if possible to come clear eight as soon as you can because you'll get the three x speed uh, when you start autoing and farming the dungeons so that is pretty much what to look for early on and why you want to unlock this three different phases of the game as soon as possible if you found this video a little helpful please give it a like and subscribe i will be along with you i'm starting fresh in the public servers i'll be giving updates as we progress after the launch. So with that, I will see you all in another video.